Bonjour à tous. Donc, euh, moi, je suis Sébastien Diet. Euh, je suis dirigeant de deux sociétés basées en France qui travaillent beaucoup sur. Good morning to all of you. I am Sébastien Diet. I uh, participate in two societies that work in truffle growing in France. I'm going to introduce you to truffle growing in our country. Okay, yes, we can hear you. Okay, first I'll present a little bit of history because of course truffle growing has a long history in France. It has been used uh, on the tables of the kings and queens, as I said before. So we have a long tradition, but until the 19th century, the production of truffle was with the wild uh, truffles, as we have just seen in the last presentation. But things started to change uh, the mid of the 19th century, around 1950. That is when we invented truffle growing. That is the idea of producing truffles in a very controlled manner, using farming, specific farming methodology. So from we could say that from 1850 in France, the olive production, the truffle production growed, grew a lot because of the, they were using the areas where they had the wine growing. And at the end of the 19th century, they said that production was around 1,500 tons a year. From that moment onwards, there was a decline in production. It is explained through some parameters. Firstly, at the end of the 19th century, it was the beginning of the rural migration. The people left the villages, left the countryside to go to the cities. And together with this exodus, there was an abandonment of a lot of agricultural land in rural areas. So this decline continued with two uh, different stages, the first uh, world war and the second one. These wars really emptied the countryside, we could say a lot of men went to war. And after the second world war, the production level of truffles have had dropped drastically. And we had 20 to 50 tons per year. And though they made a lot of efforts in planting and producing it, the level production had been uh, had been quite low. After, I will be talking about the truffle growing nowadays in France. I'll give you some key figures. In France, we have some 20,000 truffle growers. Of course, this is an estimated fear because many of them are not professionals. These 20,000 truffle growers, they um, have over 50,000 hectares of truffle orchards. France is a truffle growing country, but our truffle land is um, losing its production capacity. And so now what we have planted per year are around 1,000 to 1,500. And this production allows us to produce 20 to 60 tons a year. And also, we also import some 60 tons a year. We bring them in from Spain in order to satisfy the demand in the French market. I'll tell you how the truffle are commercialized. 40% of the truffles, after being hunted, they are sold directly, as I said, 40% to consumers, to restaurants. The remaining amount, the 60%, are sold in marketplaces. That is, it's sold to professionals, to different businesses that buy very big lots or batches of truffles, and also the 
other uh, small stores that sell the product to the regular clients. Let's see where we can find truffles in France. I'm not going to explain it in detail, but we have two main parameters that affect the possibility of growing the truffles. That is the climate and the soil. We need very calcareous soils, and that can be well-drained drain, well -drained soils. And we need a Mediterranean climate because the truffle is a fungi, which is a serothermophile. It, it requires heat, but the, with the climate change we're currently facing, we see that the growing area of truffles in France is uh, tending more to an oceanic climate. So as you can see on the right there, you can see the region where we produce the truffle, the southwest of France. I'm going to refer to two different areas. The first area is the one of the uh, uh, mountain area of Antu and then the area of Haute-Provence. This, we could say, is a cradle of uh, truffle growing in France. It started, as I said, mid 19th century, and nowadays it's the main producing area in France. 60 or 70 percent of the black truffle comes from this region. Here also in this area, we have uh, most of the truffle markets. And in terms of landscape, it's a very Mediterranean landscape, as you can see on the picture. These are cultured areas. What we have mostly are Quercus ilex, and um, Quercus umilis or Quercus pubescens. There's a very important production area. Maybe you've heard of it, probably if you're interested in truffles. It's the area of Perigord. It's a very important region in France. It's part of the identity of the black truffle in uh, France. Often it's called the black truffle of Perigord. It has this this name and it's called this way because that is where we find the big businesses and the main businesses for truffle. And as for the landscape in this case, you can see on the map that it's a bit more, it's closer to the ocean and the landscape is mostly Quercus humilis or uh, Quercus pubescens. So this is a very short presentation of truffle growing in France. I haven't told you how we harvest it or how we hunt it. And there's a video that explains the role of dogs in the hunting of truffles. And in France, we do it as in Spain. Thank you very much for your attention. Similar question. Um, the, uh, I noticed the palm oaks, a picture of those uh, natural and also cultivated. And uh, there's no longer an understory for the uh, cultivated uh, oaks. So what have you found the effect to be to, to uh, to not simply allow there be to be a na more natural way and have more rather than have these lanes where it's a single, just a you know a single crop. So uh, yeah, because I I also thought I heard that production declined, and then you simply made more. But at, at some point, um, it, uh, anyway, that's if you can get a question from that. Thank you. I think we have time for one more. We're a little bit ahead of schedule. La truite noire tubère dans notre forum est un champignon de milieu ouvert. La raison pour laquelle vous n'avez pas vu de photos de sous-bois taillis. Because we have to know that tuber melanosporum is an open crop. When there is too much shade or too much humidity or too much fresh organic matter, 
these are not ideal conditions for the development of the black truffle. This is why the land abandonment or the abandonment of arable crops that have given rise to forested area. This is why this also led to a decline in the amount of wild truffles. Um, hello. So during the discussion, I noticed the different Latin names for the landscapes. Um, my question is, is there like a, a whole list of set types of landscapes or is it only like it falls in one or two categories of landscapes? And are there certain categories of the truffles, like say the Chinese or the autumn truffle that cannot grow in certain landscapes? No, I'm not going to answer anything about the Chinese truffle because I, I'm not very well acquainted with it, but regarding the European truffles, particularly the one we have in Spain, the most demanding is Tuber Melanosporum, the black truffle. It needs quality soil quality conditions, very high soil quality conditions. Limestone, it has to be able to drain well. There's another truffle that we have presented, Tuba east of them, the summer truffle. This is a truffle that we would find in the same climatic conditions as the black truffle, Tuba melanosporum. However, it's uh, slightly less demanding as far as the soil conditions are concerned. We could find them in more clay soils or heavier soils in which this is why we would find a greater uh, production of tuba east of them. And then there's a third species that has been presented today. The burgundy truffle. Now this is very different because um, it needs an all continental climate. It's also a forest truffle. It's found in more enclosed areas, for example, in, in forests. So yes, each species has its different ecological demands, and this is why we would, uh, as you say, find them in different landscapes. 